Good afternoon, everybody. I do apologize for the several uh, delays. It's just been that kind of a day. Okay, I think that's all the time we have for today. Thanks very much, and um, we'll see you guys later this week. Yeah. Now, the Secretary also had a chance to discuss with Minister Blaschak the proposal to send MiG-29 fighter aircraft to Ukraine, and specifically the notion of doing so by way of transfer to U.S. custody. Secretary Austin thanked the, the minister for Poland's willingness to continue to look for ways to assist Ukraine, but he stressed that we do not support the transfer of additional fighter aircraft to the Ukrainian Air Force at this time and therefore have no desire to see them in our custody either. First, we believe the best way to support Ukrainian defense is by providing them the weapons and the systems that they need most to defeat Russian aggression, in particular, anti-armor and air defense. We, along with other nations, continue to send them these weapons, and we know that they are being used with great effect. The slowed Russian advance in the north and the contested airspace over Ukraine is evidence alone of that. Secondly, the Ukrainian Air Force currently has several squadrons of fully mission-capable aircraft. We assess that adding aircraft to the Ukrainian inventory is not likely to significantly change the effectiveness of the Ukrainian Air Force relative to Russian capabilities. Therefore, we believe that the gain from transferring those MiG-29s is low. And finally, the intelligence community has assessed that the transfer of MiG-29s to Ukraine may be mistaken as escalatory and could result in a significant Russian reaction that might increase the prospects of a military escalation with NATO. Therefore, we also assess the transfer of the MiG-29s to Ukraine to be high risk. Without Alternative options are uh, um, uh, working with uh, other allies uh, and uh, partner nations uh, around the world who may have um, additional air defense uh, capabilities and systems uh, at their disposal who might be willing to provide them to Ukraine. Um, and so we're, we're having discussions with many countries right now about um, some of those capabilities, surface-to-air missiles, for instance, uh, that the Ukrainians are m more trained and more equipped to, to, to operate. Uh